Welcome once again to Spotlight Indian River. Has a ring to it. I really enjoy saying that because it gives you a, a, a little focus of a big light shining on a particular entity, or on an organization, on a person. And that's very, very important in these days and time to give recognition to individuals. I, I have as a guest here with me today, Pastor Carl Wallace. Pastor Carl Wallace is pastor in Wabasso at Allen AME, Allen Chapel AME. And I want him to just introduce himself from the beginning. Just introduce yourself to Indian River County. Let thank him you, know sir. who you are. Well, first, I want to say, uh, Brother uh, Wolfolk, that thank you for allowing me to come. Right to mm-hmm. And I also like to say that um, I'm glad to be in the community. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was born and raised in the Melbourne area, so mm-hmm. I'm familiar with the with the community owner, uh, so to speak. So uh, the, when the Lord decided to move me in this area to become pastor at Allen Chapel or Bassa, I was enthused. And at the same time, I had opportunity to meet uh, some people that I had been, uh, I knew, mm-hmm. but didn't know where they were. Okay. Until I became pastor in the church, then well, the first Sunday, okay. that I opened up and I looked in there's Coach uh, Wilson walking wow, in. Get away. And, and Captain Wilson walking in. And, and I knew these people because they were but, very. They were but did you know they were at. Uh, uh, but I didn't know they were at Allen. Oh. And, and uh, okay. uh, they were very instrumental, uh, particularly Coach Wilson, mm-hmm. uh, in my sports career uh, in my life. So. Okay. He stepped in right so at, you beat at a crucial up on time. Beach too, from, uh, uh, yeah, we did that. They beat up on us too, <laughs> <Okay>. but, <laughs> but he 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 spoke life into my into my career at a time that I really needed it. Okay. So I, I'm enthused by being here. Uh, since I've been here, I've been just loving the people and loving uh, uh, the neighborhood. Uh, I love the fellowship. Mm-hmm. So I've met mo- many, many of the pastors in the area, local area, I've been to some of the churches, fellowship with some of them. Okay. And we're looking to have them come and fellowship with us more this year. That's great. Yes, sir. I, I enjoy coming to Allen Chapel. I haven't been in a while now, but I, I would love to come down and, and bring my trombone with me. Well, that's bit. all right. We want to say one thing. When someone visits us, we ask them to bring a hammer and a nail oh, because we have to put the roof back oh, in place. Oh, my goodness. Because we praise them just that, like that. That's my kind of Yes, sir. So you know. <laughs> yes, sir. So, so Seeing that you met uh, uh, Sister Catherine Watt, uh, Wilson, rather, and Coach Wilson, mm-hmm. there are some other great pioneers that come out of that Allen Chapel, and that one comes to mind is Mr. Walter Jackson. Yes, sir. Wow. I, I've, I've heard a lot about him. He was some Yes, sir. Man. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Like a Sunday school teacher, you name it, whatever, whatever yes. you needed. For yes, him. yes. He was, he was yes. what they call in the old days. The kids don't know about this terminology. That's right. When you say monkey ranch. Yes, sir. So what's a monkey ranch? That's what's a <laughs> they call him crescent, crescent ranch. Or yes. Adjustable yes. ranch. But he wasn't a, a crescent ranch. He wasn't, uh, wasn't a adjustable ranch. He was a monkey ranch because yes. he, he, anything you needed him to do, he didn't say I can't. Right. He said I'll try. I'll try. And uh, he, he, I hold him dearly in my heart because uh, I'm, I'm where I am today because of him mm-hmm. and his stick to itiveness. Yes. And what he did, he, he stuck to the, the, the task that he was given. That task was to go out and recruit some young people to come and join the Progressive Civic League of Gifford. Uh-huh. And he came to me to recruit me, and I told him yes. And I thought he'd go away. Mm-hmm. I told him yes the next time he didn't come. I thought he'd go away. Mm-hmm. About four times, five he was times, he was determined. Yes, and finally, sir. I said, "Let me go and see what it's all about." Yes, sir. And I'm so glad that I did. Yes, sir. So, so we're gonna take a, a station break, and we're gonna come back and talk a little bit more about some things that you were talking about in reference to this 100 year celebration. All right. Sounds okay? good. We're gonna take a break and come back out of these messages. Stay tuned. Join Marsha Little John nightly at five and nine on VeroBuzzTV.com. Hi, I'm Carolyn. And I'm Jim. Together we are the Live Now Real Estate Team at REMAX Associated Realty. We know the Sebastian area real estate market very well, and we also know that buying or selling a home can be very serious business. But together we can reduce the stress and even have fun in the process. Along with our hundreds of satisfied clients, we really want you to live now and be happy too. Contact us at thelivenowteam.com. See you soon. We're back once again with Pastor Carl Wallace of Wabasso, Florida, uh, Allen Chapel AME Church. And I tell you, we were talking about some of the history that uh, exudes itself there at that facility. Um, Mr. Walter Jackson was a member of Allen Chapel and how he was a community man, not only Wabasso, Gifford, Fezmer, Oslo, Vero, you name it, in the River County as a whole. And one of these programs uh, in, in February, I want, I want to come back on and, and just have 
various individuals to come and speak a little bit about various pioneers because we can't let those pioneers name and the things that they, they, they perform in our county just go by the wayside and die. Yes, we have yeah. to pass that legacy on, pass yeah. that torch on. Uh, and that's what I'm trying to do through the legacy that was given to me by people like Mr. Walter Jackson. But let's talk a little bit more about him. I mean, you heard a lot about him. Uh, you know that his son was our first African-American uh, physician here in Inverell County, uh, Dr. Thomas Jackson. Yes, uh, yes. And, and his wife uh, uh, was is a pastor also, uh, mm -hmm. um, Dr. Thomas Jackson's wife, uh, Miss Elizabeth Jackson. So it's just so great to see how he was passing that torch on, but he didn't stop just with his family members. But he, he, here I'm, I am, I'm not a, a blood relative, but I'm a spiritual brother, and he, he sought me out. And one of the things that we're looking at doing, Brother Wolfhawk, is um, uh, not only the Jackson family, uh, the... Um, Broxton family, mm -hmm. I learned right. about the Broxton mm -hmm. family, mm -hmm. was very instrumental as the Cornerstones. Mm -hmm. One of our uh, celebrations that we're going to have coming up for this year is to invite, uh, uh, contact as many of the family members oh, that are okay. still around okay. in the neighborhood, okay. in the community that are members of those pioneer families. Good idea. And we're going to invite them in into a, a banquet type scenario okay. setting. And okay. we're going to have someone, if there's someone that can speak for the family mm -hmm. to come up and give a, a quick uh, background information right. of the family and what right. they did and, and, and where they are now, where their different family members are now, okay. and what they're doing and the, the, the contributions they made to the okay. community. That's going to be one of our, our fellowship programs that's coming up. Now, when, when is your program actually going to happen? In, in, in the, at, the, the main anniversary mm -hmm. program, we're targeting it now for August the 18th. Okay. And that's going to be solidified once we get the, okay. the definite go ahead from Bishop Richardson. Okay. But that's the that's the point that okay. that everything will culminate. That's, so so August 2016 give you a plenty of time to plan and contact people. Uh, yeah, we've already all, started. You already we, started. We've already started, okay. and and, uh, and I was just looking at my mind, just thinking in my mind. Uh, February is Black History Month, mm -hmm. and they help to get you, get you a little bit of information to uh, inf information gathered. Uh, we're gonna have some individuals being honored. Uh, individually receiving uh, plaques and proclamations. Uh, one person in particular, uh, Detective Teddy Floyd, is pulling together mm -hmm. as his annual recognition of African Americans uh, in Indian River County and their contributions. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be a great opportunity there because one person in particular, uh, uh, Sylvester, Pastor Sylvester McIntosh, mm -hmm. uh, he's from the Wabasa area. Mm -hmm. uh, I think he's Church of God. Yes. That's the Church of God. Yes, I mean, well, he's one of about six to eight individuals going to be receiving recognition. Some of them are Purple Heart Amen. recipients. Amen. And, and our children and our adults as well need to know that their contributions that have been made to our country uh, by individuals of African American descent as any other nationality. That's close around them. It, it, they right don't around. realize that. They're, they're, they're there. They're, they're close right around them. They can reach out and touch them. And exactly. That's, that's We're going to take another break and, and come back and talk more. But this is interesting. I love yes, this kind of stuff. Yes, sir. Talking about history. <laughs> so we're going to take another break and, and just grab your pencil and pad because I have some dates I'm going to throw out and I mean I have a confirmed date but at least you can write down that it's forthcoming so stay tuned we're going to take another break and we'll be right back watch chamber buzz at 6 and 10 p.m. Mondays and Wednesdays on HeroBuzzTV.com Bay Street Pharmacy in Sebastian invites you to see our new selection of holiday cards and gifts. For more than 30 years, Bay Street Pharmacy has been your neighborhood pharmacy and one-stop health care center, offering prompt personal service, home delivery, and a dedicated staff that treats our customers like family with care and compassion. Now we have wonderful cards and gifts for the holiday season. Bay Street Pharmacy, where caring people care for you. Attention, this important message is for any American who is about to turn 65 years of age or older. Nation's Helpline has Medicare Supplement Insurance news that may benefit you, your family, or someone you know. Most Americans who are about to turn 65 years old know they need Medicare Supplement Insurance, even if they already have Medicare. The Nation's Helpline Medicare Supplement team can guide you and help answer your Medicare questions. Call today. Please call 800-632-2804. We're back once again, and I tell you, we are having some good conversation on how to preserve and carry out and hold on to. Yes. Those are great, three great qualities right yes, there. Yes, yes. Got to preserve, sir. carry out, 
and hold on to. And, and it's odd um, that you mention that, mm -hmm. um, Brother Wolf, because a lot of our young people today uh, that I meet um, in the streets and mm -hmm. there, they, they don't have a, a sense of where they're standing, mm -hmm. the shoulders that they're standing on, and that the decisions that they Ooh, make that's good. is not uh, uh, just uh, lackadaisical because mm -hmm. There is there there's some history, there there is some uh, strength. It's a commitment has gone through every corner, every pathway, every house, every street that they own. There's something there that was uh, uh, that was done mm -hmm. that allow you to do what you're do what doing, you're doing today. today. Yes, and you right. need to know who these people are, exactly, so you can look back and see. Well, okay, you know, we may have been going through certain things today, mm -hmm. but can you imagine what they were going through back 20, 30, 40 30 years, years ago, ago. Exactly. to get so that you could have the freedom that you have today? Exactly. Good so point. bringing these history mm -hmm. uh, 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 facts back up along with the people and the family members can be anything mm -hmm. but a but a big asset. I like what Tom Joyner does. He does Black History, three sixty five. Yes. I love it. Yes. And I was sitting on a committee, and we are planning now a black history program coming mm -hmm. up in February 2016. Mm -hmm. And we're going to bring back to town one of our successful uh, CPAs. Mm -hmm. uh, and then hopefully he'll continue to communicate with us so we can get all the details worked out. But in, in February, we want to bring him back here, and he can share from the Gifford perspective, the Inner River County perspective yes. that I came from here. Yes. So I don't want to hear excuse about from Wabasa, right. I'm from Gifford, right. I'm from Oslo. Right. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> He's successful to show you that That's I right. started out in the same position yeah. that you were in. Yeah. All you have to do is continue to reach out. Yeah. And if you reach out, someone will watch your potential and, yeah. and, and take uh, inventory of your potential yeah. and help you to bring it to the forefront. So that's yeah. very important. Yeah. In many instances, their circumstances are worse. Oh, exactly. So you have nothing to cry about or complain so about. No, not, no not today. Yeah. <laughs> so one, one guy told me, one guy I heard him say, he said, uh, he said, hold it one second. I got some, some, uh, uh, some cheese with that wine. Yes. All that wine are you doing? Yeah. He said, I got some cheese. Yes, sir. And, and some music. And some, <laughs> <laughs> that's and some music. See, exactly. Yeah. Because there's no time for crying and, and, and complaining about where you are. It reminded me of somewhere, Pastor, I can't think of exactly where it was, but one of my pastors, former pastors, was preaching about how these two individuals were uh, about to die. Mm -hmm. And they were there complaining. And to one of them realized, hey, if I sit here, mm -hmm. We truly will die. That's right. But if I get up, but get up and start moving ahead, yes, somewhere down the That's road, right. I may find an oasis yes, that will give me That's strength, right. give me right. something for this thirst, give me That's something right. for this, That's right. this, this hunger, That's and right. we can make it out to save. But if I sit here, That's right. I surely. Well, one of the T-shirts that we're working on to celebrate this uh, this time comp is is uh, uh, pity parties won't do. Oh. That's a good one. Pity parties won't do. <laughs> Time is over. I mean, there's no excuse to pity parties. If you don't want to do anything, I would have put a pity. Except the pity party, but other than that, I would have put a pity in there because we haven't <laughs> talked about it. Where well, you came up there? That okay. Was, okay. <laughs> we're gonna take a break. Right, that's a good one right there by itself. So we're gonna take a break and come back and talk about this pity party. I won't do it. Stay tuned. That's a good one. Yeah, that's, that's, that's Join us for an adventure weekdays at 4.30 and 8.30 on Buzz TV Network. The Furniture Man is a locally owned business that has served the needs of the community of Vera Beach and Indian River County for over 30 years. Here at The Furniture Man, we offer fine pieces to furnish each and every room of your home. Specializing in Floridian style, come browse our selection of bedroom, dining room, patio, and living room. Come explore over 10,000 square feet of showroom where you can find mattresses, recliners, sofas, dining, and more. Visit us at 673 US 1 in Vero Beach, Monday through Saturday, for all of your furniture needs. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Hi, I'm Penny Chandler. I'm, I'm Freddie Woolfolk. I am Barbara Hoffman. And I'm Gregory Simpson. I'm here with Police Chief David Curry. You're in good company on VeroBuzzTV.com, Vero Beach's local TV station on the internet. I just Ooh, love, love it. it. Tell a friend. Yeah. We love y'all! Well, we had a laughter contest going on. I think I made him laugh. And he told me about a T-shirt being uh, constructed and p developed called Pity Parties Won't Do. And, and how did that, that goes hand in hand what we're talking about because we just talking talked about preserving, carrying out, and holding on to. Mm -hmm. So those three ingredients there 
can't be centered around anything of a pity party. That's right. So, so how did, how did who, how? That, 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 that came about, uh, the Lord gave, gave that to me when, uh, when Bible study evening and I, we were talking about destination and calls, mm -hmm. uh, uh, where, where God has called you to, mm -hmm. and, and knowing what he has called you to, and we, we realized, and the Holy Spirit said that, you know, as you look forward in your destiny, uh, it's, it, the most important thing is not what you're willing to go through to reach your destiny. That's not the most important thing. The most important thing is what you're willing to leave behind. Good, good point. What you're willing to leave behind. Right. So that you can go forward. Because you must sometimes take too, much, take too much baggage. And pity part is a pity part is hooked on what I used to have, who I used to hang with, what used to, what I used oh, to do, and who I used to. That, that, that's hanging on. So you got to cut those loose if you're talking about going forward. Because uh -huh. those same parties, you'll make a cry as soon as something happens. That's, that's good counseling. That's difficulty. Good counseling. You know, so you got to, you okay. got to, won't do. They wow. just won't do. So as we continue to talk about preserving and carrying out, once a person has identified a need in their life, once a person has identified a great resource in their life, it's time for them to carry through mm -hmm. and not look for that carry through to be just what in it for me. Mm -hmm. What can I get? Mm -hmm. What can you give me? Mm -hmm. What's what? what, what how, how much can I have? Mm -hmm. uh, as in the Bible again, I relate to the, the gentleman who said, "I'll build bigger barns." Yes, you know that's that's, yes. that's what yes. greed yes. sometimes yes. clouds your view. Yes, instead of helping those who are, are really in need, yes. uh, spreading what yes. we have, which which goes in line with what I just did along with Detective Teddy Floyd with Julianne Price. We went throughout Indian River County. He was in Wabasa, Felsmere, doing our annual Christmas gift mm -hmm. giveaway. Mm -hmm. I hate the word giveaway for better terms because mm -hmm. it's not really a giveaway. It's really an opportunity to meet the parent, yes. to meet that child, look yes. in the eye and say Merry Christmas. Yes. You know, and, yes. and, and begin to build that relationship because if you talk about preserving something, exactly. you got to first have something to preserve. That's right. And you got to have a relationship started. Exactly. So what exactly. we're doing now with those gifts is giving a gift, but also they say, yeah. that's the man who gave us the gift last yeah. year. Yeah. So now he'll be more apt and she'll be more apt to what? Come in and pitch in to help us to carry and it's out. And that you that you mentioned that, brother, mm -hmm. because when you talk about giveaway, uh -huh. if there's no relationship, that's what you get. When you give it, they go away Ah, because there's no relationship. There's exactly. nothing to relate to. Exactly. But when you go in and, and you plug into the mind and the heart, that, that, that my why is that my why mm -hmm. has nothing to do with what I'm putting in your hand. Why? It's okay. because I love you. Oh man. If I didn't have anything to give you, I'm gonna still give you nothing but love, love? and, and, right. and positives anyway. Wow. But if I just use that what's in my hand, mm -hmm. when I give it to you, uh -huh. you're going away. Wow. So we're on the right track. Yes, sir. By by building these relationships through these uh, Christmas gifts. We did the same thing during November for Thanksgiving. Uh, Teddy and I, I know when we were together, we gave over 250 turkeys away mm -hmm. all over the River County. Mm -hmm. Again, it's not about one section. It's right. about the whole the county whole, the whole as a whole. People hurting working everywhere. Together. People are hurting, hurting everywhere. everywhere. And we have to be willing to help yes, them sir. to hold on just a little while longer. Yes, sir. See Arts in Depth with Barbara Hoffman. Tuesdays and Thursdays at 6 and 10 p.m. Stop by Patty's Printing and Graphics in downtown Vero Beach. Owner Patty Callahan prints it all, from color and black and white copies to blueprints, banners, signs, prints of paintings, and fine art. Patty makes restorations and creates outstanding graphic designs. Call Patty at 770-1521 or stop by Patty's Printing and Graphics at 2345 14th Avenue. Stop by for all of your printing needs at Patty's Printing and Graphics across from the old railroad station in downtown Vero Beach. Attention, this important message is for any American who is about to turn 65 years of age or older. Nation's Helpline has Medicare Supplement Insurance news that may benefit you, your family, or someone you know. Most Americans who are about to turn 65 years old know they need Medicare Supplement Insurance, even if they already have Medicare. The Nation's Helpline Medicare Supplement Team can guide you and help answer your Medicare questions. Call today. Please call 800-632-2804. Welcome back to Spotlight in the River, and we are throwing several spotlights on several issues that will help our community to rise up to its 
fullest potential. Uh, there are so many talented individuals in our county. Mm -hmm. Indian River County has everything that it needs. It's sort of like individuals. Individuals yes. don't realize to be successful in the eyes of the Lord that those things to help you to be successful are inside of you. Exactly. And, and inside of you in such a way that if you don't have enough of it, he give you the, the tenacity and the willpower to connect to somebody else who yes. can help you to make that level. Yes, that's right. So it's very important that the relationships are established. And I often say over and over again on this show, and I probably use it as my motto, where one of my school teachers, Ms. Rosalind Smith, told mm -hmm. me one time, she said that rules without a relationship brings about a rebellion. That's right. So, I mean, if I don't have any type of relationship with you and I'm trying to tell you how to get from point A to point B, you don't want to listen to me because no. I never ask you to be a part of the process. That's why nobody's there. See that? <laughs> nobody's gone. Nobody's there. See? So we got to build those relationships. Right. And so we're sure. doing that here in Indian River County, even with the midst of trouble in other parts of the state uh, and other parts of the United States, we can't not give up. The majority exactly. must keep their head above ground and not bury their heads in the sand and say, I, it's not here, so we don't have to build a relationship. No, this is relationship building time. Yes, sir. Why, there is no problem. Yes, sir. You know, you don't take the umbrella out after it's raining. You take the umbrella out before it's raining. Exactly. And that way you can stay dry. Yes, sir. I want to talk quickly about a couple of dates here. I mentioned one in particular, a Black History Month coming up in February. Uh, that's a fantastic time. But we have another date coming up in April, April 23rd. And it's just to save the date. I don't have a lot of details. But I just want to in invite you all to put on your calendar. We're going to have a, a very noted speaker. And you, if you watch on the station own network, uh, Oprah Winfrey is the owner of that, that network. And she has a show, a uh, lady by the name of Iyanla Benzan. Mm -hmm. And Miss Iyanla Ben Zant is a, a speaker, and she has a show called uh, Save My Life. Save uh, My Life. Uh-huh. And uh, Change My Life, rather. And this, this particular Change My Life scenario will help individuals to take a look at their, themselves from the inside. Yes. And, uh, and she'll help you to change that life by you wanting to be a part of it. And what I so, like about mm -hmm. Sister Ben Zant mm -hmm. is that she, she gets, she's real. Mm -hmm. And she gets to the issue of your problem. That's right. A lot of times we, we talk to people about their problems. We just want to give them some little medicine or a mm -hmm. bomb to go over Put the problem. Put a little band-aid on it. But she gets to the issue as to mm -hmm. why you feel this way. Exactly. Why do you think this way? Why are you mm -hmm. doing the things that you're doing? So that, that's going to be a very inspiring uh, program. I'm looking forward to yeah. it. So I want you to save that date. And the date is April 23rd, 2016 at the Vero Beach High School Performing Arts Center. We, it holds about a thousand people. Mm -hmm. And we're planning on packing that particular uh, venue with over a thousand people. So just look out for more information. Uh, it's, a, it's called A Conversation with Iyanla Van Zant. And that's going to be at Vero Beach High School Performing Arts Center coming April 23rd, 2016. Look out for that time and date. We're going to take another break in a second, but I just before we take a break, I just want to drop this quick message that the MLK Parade route has been changed. Mm -hmm. And we'll tell you more about that once we take this commercial break and come back. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Buzz TV Network is now the fastest growing new media outlet on the Space and Treasure Coast. Follow Buzz TV Network and tell a friend. Bay Street Pharmacy in Sebastian invites you to see our new selection of holiday cards and gifts. For more than 30 years, Bay Street Pharmacy has been your neighborhood pharmacy and one-stop health care center, offering prompt personal service, home delivery, and a dedicated staff that treats our customers like family with care and compassion. Now we have wonderful cards and gifts for the holiday season. Bay Street Pharmacy, where caring people care for you. We're back for our final segment, and I tell you, I had fun with yes, sir. Pastor Carl Wallace. I got to come back. Yeah, you I love come to come back. back. Yeah. <laughs> we got to do this again. You fit right in. <laughs> <laughs> they get in where you fit in. Yes, right? sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> but we were talking just now about uh, the Martin Luther King Parade, again, a part of a building relationship. It's more than barbecue. It's more than family gathering in the park. It's more than the parade. It's about building relationship. And Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., that's exactly what he were do was doing. Yes. He was building relationship with different races, yes. different people, or different religions. 
traditions, yes. ethnic uh, uh, backgrounds. He was there to help build relationships. So this parade coming up is the beginning of the celebration. And they also have on that Saturday before the parade, uh, Martin Luther King banquet. And they're gonna have a very special person there, someone from Gifford, who went off to South Carolina, or South Carolina now, and she's one of the representatives in the State House mm -hmm. that's having to take down the Confederate flag there Amen. in the state. Amen. Her name is Gilda Cobb Hunter. So she's going to be the guest speaker there at the Martin Luther King Banquet. I also want to talk, talk quickly about the parade route. It's changing from 37th Street over to Old Dixie down to 45th Street. That was the old route. Now it's 37th Street to Old Dixie to 41st Street. That's the only difference. We're still going to head down to 43rd Avenue, make a right turn, go down uh, north to the Gifford Park where we have the rest of the festivities. So mark that down. And lastly, another part of building relationship, we don't only build relationship with the young people or with the adults, even with our younger, younger yeah, children. Babies. We have a right. Cub Scout troop there, troop number 532. And want you to come out and be a part. We meet on Thursdays at 5:30 at the Gifford Youth Achievement Center. We need volunteers, our parents, as well as adults to help these young children to experience some very, very positive uh, experiences. So please come by and check on us. We want to thank you finally for coming on and being on the show. Any yes, final sir. thought? Yes, sir. I, I would like to just thank you for having me mm -hmm. here today. And I want to ask the community, those that are listening, if they will go to our website. Uh, our Facebook site, and mm -hmm. we have launched a GoFundMe program there okay. so that we can uh, bring Allen Chapel up to par and do the things that we need to do for this celebra uh, celebration of 100 years. Fantastic. Yes, sir. I, I bid you Godspeed. Yes, sir. And do get in contact with Ms. Ruth Stanbridge. Yes, she's we will very, do that. She's very instrumental in the historical layout in the county. She yes, knows sir. a lot and know a lot of people who are, who are there for you. Okay? Yes, sir. All right. It's been a pleasure for you watching us also. These final things we have talked about, Cub Scouts, we need your help. Pastor Carl Wallace wants you to be a part of this 100-year celebration that's going to be coming up. Also, the Martin Luther King Parade Route being changed. Black History Program coming forth in February with a very noted speaker coming here back home to share some of the things that he's experienced and how he made it through. And save the date on April 23rd, 2016 with Ms. Iyanla Van Zant coming to town. As I said, this event is great. It's going to help the relationship building to continue and us all to get to know each other a little better. As I always say, you can either be a part of the problem or you can be a part of the solution. We want you to be a part of the solution. So when you see someone, encourage them. Tell them that they can make it too if they try. Amen. We love you. Until next time, we'll see you and have a great day. See Bye. ya. Good see ya. Freddie Wilfrick and Gregory Simpson invite you to Spotlight Indian River weeknights at 6.30 and 10.30. Now that health reform is law, you cannot be denied health insurance coverage. But you can pay too much. But at ICANN, we work for you. We shop all the private and government plans available, dozens of plans, to find the plan that best suits you and your family's needs at historically low prices. As a single mom, I was convinced that we could not afford health insurance until I spoke to the people from ICANN, who told me that I qualified for a special enrollment and a subsidized rate. Now I get so much more for so much less. Call now and get the ICANN mobile app free. It takes the mystery out of comparison price shopping for prescription medicine, giving you the power to instantly find the pharmacy with the lowest price and save possibly hundreds and hundreds of dollars every single year. So don't wait another minute. Call ICANN, get covered, save money. Please call 800-345-7585. One-of-a-kind videos, unique perspectives, original programming, only on Buzz TV Network. Spread the word and tell a friend. You're watching Marsha, Marsha, Marsha on ViroBuzzTV.com.